hey guys, good to have you back. You guys uh, want to come along for another shave? Let's do it. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I had to do that. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're having a good week. Uh, hope you're having a good weekend. It's a long weekend up here, so we've had Monday off. Uh, my boss even gave me Friday off, so it's been really nice. It's been a really good time, except for the weather. But uh, <laughs> anyhow, um, I just want to apologize up front, everyone, if my voice crackles in and out or if I have to clear my throat a little bit. My allergies are kicking the crap out of me here today. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry if that happens. I've got the lather ready to go for you guys here. That is in the Thirsty Badger lather bowl. That is an AP Shaveco handle with a DS Cosmetics Plasson knot on it. Uh, it was given to me from Jared at Thirsty Badger. I threw it in with a deal we made. The soap we're using today though, something rather unique. It is, we can see this, it's ENS Rissage Traditionnel. Hope I'm saying that correctly. I know I'm butchering it. And it's Equinox. I'm not quite sure how you say that in French. <laughs> so it is a, a soap that's made in France. Um, you can see it there. It's got a nice sit uh, scent strength on it. It's pretty soft. Put that on the neck. Um, love their labels though. Um, when Jonathan Stonefield brought these into North America, I believe he was the first, and I think a razor company in the States now has them too. You can see the import there. The ingredients list is quite huge. I'll put that up for you guys, but some of the highlights are tallow, shea butter, cocoa, lanolin, vitamin E, and avocado oil. So we'll get this going on the face here. Oof. So this soap, this is about my fifth time using it now, I do believe, between this scent and one other, mainly with this one. I've given a couple large samples out. This soap does not blow up super voluminous. Um, I think I said that right, hopefully I did anyways. Um, this is what you're gonna call, and I think people in the community are calling, low structure, high density, and that's really all this gives you. <clears throat> there is, there is no big volu um, volume you can get off like a PAA or something like that. So if that's not the kind of lather you're looking for, this probably isn't for you. Now, if you don't care the kind of lather, you just want a nice soap, a nice feeling lather, uh, this might be right up, your, right up your alley. I'm gonna paint this for a bit. Um, this is a lot smaller knot than I'm used to. This is gonna become my travel brush. So. It looks like it's pretty good so far. One thing I found with the soap, I haven't found the breaking point yet. I'm gonna have to just make that a goal one day. I always think I get enough water in it, and then I'm like, you know, I bet you I could put more into that. And I think I'm there. Uh, again, it just takes water. Very nice. Uh, the scent on this one, so they call it a Fougier Aromatic on the label there. Uh, I gotta look up the actual translation. My daughter's on the way, they speak French. <clears throat> Phil Wetche is on the way too. <laughs> I'm assuming it means it's a like a bright, flowery uh, Fougier. No. Um, the notes on it are, the top notes are bergamot and grapefruit, the heart notes are jasmine and rose, and then your bases are sandalwood and a spicy, um, I think it was a tree, I forget, I'll put it up, I apologize. I wrote it down, I can't even read it right now. Um, but for me, it starts very uh, bright off the top. As you lather it, I still get some of that brightness. Um, even on the tub, I get a bit of the woodsiness below it. But here I get, I think, more, a little more of the, the, the citrus dies down a bit. Maybe a little more of the flowery coming out. Maybe the rose. And then you get some of that spiciness also from the woods. It's quite nice. 
I think we're okay, guys. What the hell? Put one more out of it. One more round in it. Because I always say I never add enough. I always think I can add more, so why not, right? It might be too much now. We'll see. Um, it's a nice medium sense strength at least. Some days I think it's medium, some days I think it's medium strong. I guess it depends what my sniffer's doing that day. <laughs> uh, I like it. Um, when I first opened it, I can get the citrus off the beginning like I said. Sorry, I gotta clean this bloop up here. And uh, I wasn't quite sure what I thought about the rest of it. But it really has grown on me over the last three, three to four shades at least with this scent. So, okay, for today, we're going to do an edge test, guys. Um, this is the Kim Folks USA Blue Steel Special. It looks like about a 5 8 round point. Um, I've been playing with edges. <laughs> uh, this one I did took right back to Bevel Set 1K, 3K. I threw in my new 4K Hayabusa from Na uh, Nanawa. And I did the full gen app progression on it. Took it right up to soapy water. This never stuck on me on the stones. I'm a little worried about this edge. If it really sucks, I have a backup. So here we go. Yeah, so far sucking isn't a problem. <laughs> That's actually quite nice so far. So this is my, uh, I did three razors the other day. Uh, Hone them up with the 4K on it. Um, this one was the only one I took right back to bevel set. Sorry about all the water, guys. Um, the other ones, I did kind of refreshes from the 4K up. And I did something a little different on each to see what I like. This is the only one I took the soapy water. Uh, the one I ended up shaving with yesterday, which I was going to use <laughs> for this video, make it yesterday, but I just was really not feeling it at all, guys. Like I said, I just was feeling way crappier than I am today. Um, it was really nice, too. Yep. And uh, not quite as sharp film as this one, though, I don't think. Now that blade stuck a lot more on the stones, and excuse me, I think I just broke there on you guys. Um, but that felt really, really nice. Of course, lots of edges can feel nice on the first pass, um, but that felt really nice. The soap is doing great. I've had no performance issues with this soap at all. Um, very happy with this purchase. Kind of nice getting um, some artists and soaps in from different areas of the world. I do have a, uh, it's called Oasis here. And that was really nice too, as a aquatic. And I really enjoyed it. I don't have a lot of aquatics in my den, but that was nice. I would recommend that one too, especially for summertime. I think you have to fit really nice in the summertime. Uh, this one's more of a spring or fall, I think, kind of scent. So the gloomy weather we're having here today, still compared to what we had earlier last week, um, it's a nice fit. 
you know, last Monday, Tuesday, we were in the 30 degrees Celsius, now 31, 32 degrees Celsius, very little wind, beautiful. Beautiful days. And by Friday, we were down to like plus four, and it was raining since like Wednesday, and yeah. Yesterday it was plus seven, which was nice, a little windy, but not bad. Today it's supposed to hit 17. It's only nine degrees right now. This is just after lunchtime, so I don't think we're gonna make it, but we'll see. But it'd be nice. I like to get out bike riding with the kids. Why are just taking a top of something there off? Yeah, hey, I have one kid that my youngest. Um, she's really nervous on the bike. Really, really nervous. <clears throat> she's seven and still on her training wheel, so I really want to get her off. Yeah, I had to take the top off of that little bump. Oh well. So that's my goal for her. I'm hoping by July. I can have her off training wheels so she can, we can go on some larger family outings with the bike. Bikes. Yeah, this is really nice. <clears throat> Quite enjoying it. <laughs> very, very nice, guys. <clears throat> Everything's doing wonderful here. I'm really, really happy how this is going so far. One second, please, sir. <clears throat> <clears throat> I, I apologize for that. Just a little H2O in the Star Wars glass. I don't really try to up my H2O today. So... <clears throat> There's a bloop on the toilet. Clean that up after. <laughs> so I hope you're all enjoying your shaves. Hope you're all enjoying our wet shaving community. Um, <clears throat> I've been getting a little more involved talking to some of the guys, which has been really nice. Obviously, we've started the Canadian Mafia group. IG show on... Uh, Canadian Mafia show, I should say. Sorry. IG show on... Uh, Wednesday nights, 7 p.m. And I guess it'd be 7 p.m. Mountain right now. 9 p.m. Eastern. Six p.m. Pacific. I always gotta remember uh, which time zone I'm in right now because we don't change time zones. So when I'm thinking about what time something's going on for me, I'm like, okay, relative to everyone else, you know, if I say 7 p.m. Saskatchewan time, that means F all to most people unless you're in Saskatchewan. Um, <clears throat> even my, our neighbor prophets can't remember what we do, it seems like. But uh, so I try to reference to which time zone end up we're actually on. But it's a good time. It's a... Uh, one Pass Ben, Phil Wet Shaves, Magic Mike, uh, Justin the Red Island Save Shaver, and myself doing that show now. Uh, it'll be on again this upcoming Wednesday, and then I think we're moving it quite possibly every two weeks, so we'll see. But, uh, you know, if you haven't joined us, come and check us out. There's uh, Wet Shaving Talk, Hot Topics of the Week, um, Some Dirty Jokes, just to warn you up front. Um, so yeah, I get the grain, sorry.
And also, I should like to say, if you have been supporting our show, thank you very much. <laughs> I don't usually have to come on to later. Wednesday nights are a tough time for me. Um, my wife, if she works late, is usually Wednesday nights. And my kid also has singing lessons Wednesday nights. And they're over the time the show starts. So, it's a two hour show. And I usually come on eight, between 8 and 8.30, typically. The last week I didn't get on until about 8.40. It just wasn't working for me. Night was a little crazy. <laughs> this is great, guys. Holy smokes. Wow. <clears throat> That's a very nice shave. No, that's all blood. That's a scar. I'm going to have to get some calendula cream again and put it on that. I find calendula cream works really good at healing up after the initial set, like healing up these uh, cuts and scars. Works very, very well. Highly recommend it. I have fortunately been out for months. <laughs> Definitely nice. <laughs> that was a real telltale right there, guys. How it goes on the upper lip and right in there. That, that was a very, 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 very comfortable edge there, there for me. Like to love. That made no sense. Excuse me again. Keep cutting that lip or that ledge there, a little bump. really good that time. <laughs> Oops. Just when you get the same bump three times, it really starts to bleed, eh? What are you gonna do? Wow. I'm really, I know I'm saying wow a lot, guys, but I'm really happy what I do on this edge. That's uh, definitely, I think, the best edge of dog. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to do my cleanups off camera. It's basically going to be a swipe across my chin here, guys. And uh, I'll be back shortly. All right, I'm back. Do a little pat dry here. I did a warm water rinse. Cool water rinse. Did apply a little alum right there just to help it out. Checked this area down here I've been having some irritation issues with. Um, I chased it way too close one day and 
I haven't stopped shaving and really there isn't no burn so it's getting really close to being held right back up which is good um that's a phenomenal shave guys like that is close feels awesome i'm i'm ecstatic with everything about that shave so uh let's use the matching aftershave splash here i give this a good 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 shake this one was made specifically for jonathan at stonefield um he couldn't import the other one apparently due to the high al higher alcohol content in it so you can see it there i've got some solid like cloudy looking things in with us jonathan about that i keep forgetting um, lots of ingredients in here there's witch hazel aloe vera juice there is some alcohol in it too which i'm surprised to see um lots of good stuff i'll put it up for you guys the ingredients and uh you can see it here it's very, very white, <laughs> a little milky. So this for me, the citrus isn't as strong by any means. The splash is definitely more on the Fujiri side with the floral on it. The woodsy and the floral notes. With I think the citrus plain kind of middle note here. Maybe even towards the bottom as a backup. Very, very nice though. Right on. Whew. Well, that's it, guys. I'm uh, gonna be another longer shave here for you. I do apologize for that. It's what it is. So, if you have enjoyed the whole video and you stuck it out, thank you very much. Uh, I do appreciate all your support. I do appreciate all your views, all your comments. Um, just appreciate you being around. I have fun. I enjoy talking to you guys in the comments. When I get the opportunity to catch up, I try to get to them all. So let's do a quick recap for you guys. Today we used ENS Ressage Traditional Equinox. Again, France, uh, French uh, soap maker with the uh, sense being done in collaboration with a perfumer out of, I think it's Germany, I believe. Or is it? Grasse, Gasse, can't remember again, I'll have that up for you. Uh, my notes kind of disappeared here. Sorry guys. Uh, I whipped that up in my Thirsty Badger Lather Bowl, the Mayor it's called, with the AP Shave Co. handle, with the, I think it's a 22 millimeter, somewhere in there, um, DS Cometics Plus Soft. This will be my travel brush, I just wanted to use it for you guys on video today once. Very, very floppy. Um, Nowhere near my favorite knot. <laughs> and for me, it was edge test today. The Kinfolks Blue Steel Special 5 8 round tip uh, custom scales on it. I bought it that way. And my edge, and I really like that. That was, in my opinion, the best edge I've put on a razor yet, by far. Sharp and pretty damn comfortable. Uh, very close shave as a result. A little bit of blood there. So, what do you do? Uh, anyways. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for your support. Hope you've had a great weekend. Hope you have a great upcoming week. Cheers. We'll see you all soon.